Who's back? We are back. Um, for that, for that winners finals. I'll just Heck say yeah. this: before I mute and deafen. Uh, Yobi and I are practice partners. So crazy. <laughs> you hate to say it. I did mention that during uh, Yomi sat. I love these people have been grinding, and now <laughs> it's yeah, it's time for them to face off. You always hate to say it. Alright though, so yeah, once again, uh, <laughs> wait a second, okay, no, this, this is the second Rano Shovel Knight set we've seen, but it is a different Rano and a different Shovel Knight. You'll love to see it. Are we, uh, are we good to go? Yeah, you're good, sorry. Okay, that's okay, thank you. you Notice are off. Up and welcome, Mild, thanks for the raid. All right, here we go. You see the classic all black shovel knight. Yeah. It be like that. Can't say I'm a fan, but it be like that. And we're going to Ashtray for the stage pick. I have his backed up. See a little bit of home field. And, oh, okay, now it switches again. What the heck? Anyway, yeah, um, I think this is a pretty solid stage for both characters. I've never been the biggest fan of the stage in general, but I see it. Yeah, um, this is this is probably the one stage in starters that I will pretty much always ban. I'm yeah, really okay, I'm glad I'm not stage. alone on that, because I feel like yeah, I always feel so crazy for it. This stage, really, I'm really not a fan of. Yeah. Like, I won't, I won't ban it for counter picks, but like... For starters, I am banning this almost every time. Mm -hmm. It's really not that fun. For, like I, I get it. It's like, it's a great Forge Burn stage. Like yeah, down smash on those top plats are like really good. But like, I really just don't like the stage. Yeah, no, me neither. But we'll see here. So there are a lot of people that like it, and right now Yomi is really liking it. making first it work. Stock. Taking that first stock at. Pretty mid to high percent and already having momentum mail. Yomi in a very good spot. Let's see if... Yeah. Oh, and you got the parry too. Very good. Yeah. Let's see if, if uh, Lunar has an answer to momentum mail. Let's see, the answer is going to be F-Strong. The answer is F-Strong, yeah. Not normally what you'd expect to be the answer to that, but we'll take it. And Yomi... And chopping and disadvantage, you love to see it. That was the boldest option. <laughs> Sigma grind set. Sigma grind set. That was that was the highlight of, of my of my rival's career. Watching watching a uh, set that I had. It it was the grands against jorts where you just said Sigma grind set and I was like, this is this is my life now. <laughs> and Yomi is following in my footsteps yeah. as the Sigma grind setter. But Lunar right now trying to conquer that grind set and doing a very good job. The double and dunk. conquers that grind set. Now this, I really do feel like this is a very good Rano stage. So you can really see Rano kind of getting a lot of that high percent combos on this stage. And tech chases on those small platforms are very dangerous. And we see a lot of a lot of Lunar just like kind of bullying Yo Yomi into the corner, and just kind of stuffing out a lot of their recovery options. And I really like see I really like seeing that just the recognition, and that's not going to do it. Really good DI. Yo, F strong oh, isn't Lunar's killing. As well. Oh, but that was... I that was that was weird. I did not like that. <laughs> I yeah. did not like the, the hitbox on that one, I... but that's that down smash is gonna do it. All and right. we see Lunar, a Lunar taking game one and doing a lot of stuff that we don't see a lot of players doing, really at a lot of levels of just parrying side B on recovery. You don't really see that 
really ever. Because that move is very, like, really hard to react to. Alright. So we are going to ban Fire Capital. I like that stage ban. I feel I this. I feel the waiting I... on gates, but not really being totally sure about it. That last that, ban, I that, think, was really that bad. Makes sense. I, uh, no, that's like I see that's merit to leave it open. That's a tie for Shovel Knight's worst stage. Mm. Unless I don't know, maybe yeah. Yumi is like a really big gear knight and like really like Sage. That's pretty much the only reason you'll like that Sage if you like gear. But even then, there's other really good gear stages. Not, I also see Rano like not liking that stage really? just because, at least for me personally, but like. I just feel as though, like, Rano up smash through, like, sharking platforms with up smash is very strong with Rano. But we have Rano, like, top three Rano stage anyway, so. Yeah. And since Yomi is one of the SKs that we do see actually edge guarding, this is a very dangerous stage for Rano. Or for, uh, for Lunar. As you can see, Yomi kind of take really early stocks with, with like down air, down air up B. When that up smash nerf coming into play. Lunar's kind of running circles around Yomi right now, finding the back right. air. Run in, run in circles, but we see the the game is pretty much even. Yeah. Yumi just needs one good hit right here, especially on rock wall. Yeah, really, really, just one pretty strong hit, even. just like that is gonna is gonna make this game pretty much even. And now we got momentum mail, which is in the long run will be very good, but right now I feel as though that Yomi's gonna be pretty heavy combo food. Yeah. Especially for Rano. Ooh. That's a little bit rough. Almost. Almost dead. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. We see the comebacks being made. Ooh. Almost dying yeah. to that up smash, too. Yeah, good DI there from Lunar. Still hanging on and reversing the situation, too. Yeah, this has been very, very good neutral from a... I don't know how he lived that, but okay. Me neither. <laughs> and we see Yomi taking the lead. Taking the lead in this game too here. Yeah, Ooh, back Just air like though. Just like before, one, that one strong hit's gonna do it. That moonwalk back air, I think. Yeah. I don't, I don't remember too much. I thought it was wave dash back, but who knows? <laughs> who knows? Who knows? I might be just crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. But... We have this game coming right back to even. Yeah. Just like game one, very, pretty much even the entire game. Yeah. And that, okay, that one was a moonwalk, I swear. <laughs> and yeah, we, we, we really do see just Lunar kind of like running all over. You know, we just running circles. Yeah, ooh, okay. Like nothing really off the bubble, but this is definitely kill percent right now. And the Dacus. Yeah, that's the Dacus. The Dacus to catch the jump right into that sweet spot. Yeah, that's crazy. Lunar took that. Yeah, this is a really good stat. It's kind of interesting because, like, you know, with these two players playing each other on a regular basis, they are going to know what each other do pretty well. Yeah. I feel it. Specifically for this stage, if Yomi doesn't have an answer for needles, then Lunar, I feel, is going to run all over Yomi right now. Yeah, this is, this is interesting. I mean, Lunar doesn't needle too, too much, but it's always a fallback option. Because needles are incredibly deadly on this stage. 
I love that wait right there. Perfectly spaced out jump. The patience is so good from Lunar right now. Lunar just slowly, yeah, waiting for these opportunities, staying right outside of Yomi's range. Very but, smart, but then we see Yomi do the exact same thing. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I guess, look like Lunar forgot that he used his double jump. Just doesn't get that height that he needs. Good jab check there, right? Yeah. And these jab checks are doing a lot of work for Yomi right now. As we see, kind of reversal, Yomi's kind of running away with this game too. Or game three, but game as well. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's kind of interesting. I think Lunar just doesn't have good enough needle use to really abuse the stage. Yeah, he oh. flip on that. Interesting. Tries to do the wall bounce. Interesting. I like it. Yeah. You but F some... smash is the answer. Yeah. I mean, we're still about a full stock down, but Yomi SDs. Yomi. Yomi. And especially when you're... When, when you're in one stock away. In... Oh, no. Winner side stock. Yeah. This is winners. Yeah. But still, that's like, you know, this is a really good spot that's to be so in. rough. But if Yomi keeps his keeps their head in the game, then they have they've been doing well so far on this stage and they can bring this momentum back. Yeah, certainly. That being said, Lunar was already kinda putting in a little bit of work. Ooh, that roll Ooh, read. Smash read. Alright, and oh, catches nice. the tongue too. Now we have, an, we have an interesting situation here with the Shovel Knight bans. So I feel as though that was Shovel With what's happening here, we see Yomi kind of dominating when he has a big open space. So stage, stages like uh, Abyss, Spirit Tree, stages with big open areas in the center are really helping Yomi out. Yeah, oh, and of oh, course. Yeah. The best, the the best stage alt. You think? I think this is the worst stage alt. I, I like this stage alt, but I say best with an asterisk because Frozen Gates is the best stage of all time. <laughs> but I, I love this stage alt. Partially on the fact that like not a lot of people know about this. It is always fun to see people like be thrown off by it. I know I was. Yeah, no, I same. I, I first saw this in a workshop bracket, and I was I like, I think I what first saw this happening? in the, like, one of the automated openings for the game. I think this is a possible stage. And someone saw this and pointed it out, and was like, what is this? I was like, oh, that's weird. The, it was this and Ether High that I both saw in a workshop bracket, and I looked, and I DM'd the person. I was like, you're not allowed to put workshop stages on. They're like, it's not. And I felt so confused. Damn. Very interesting situation. Yeah. Oh, really even That's game until talk. the parry, right as soon as I say it. And I like the side B's on the stage, though mixing it up is really what's going to take it here for, for Shovel Knight recovery. Like the side B's on the stage work, but if Lunar's going to parry it, Ooh, okay. then, then the rock is going to hit you on the forehead and spike you. Okay. <laughs> and we see this game back to basically even okay. and see Yom Yomi's doing the same thing with the with the waiting for an option waiting to see what they'll do with like any kind of tech situation and again it's not a bad thing especially with how much Ooh. distance someone they can uh, cover Ooh, that's and that's gonna take that stock that yeah big... Big knockback forward air. Pretty unfortunate. See, ooh, the fair. Ooh. Does not get the double. But comes really close. Very close. When you see Yomi kind of in a, in a really pretty bad situation, being yeah, a full stock pretty much. 
Oh, okay. Oh, that is so unfortunate. Ooh, okay. We I take guess. this, take that stock, and now we see this game, and we see three fourths shovel knight. Ooh, that might no momentum mail is gonna save him. That's huge. Ooh, very close. You see, one of these on stage carries for Yomi will pretty much can pretty much even oh. this out. However, he misses no. the sweet spot, so Yomi still- Okay, that's, that's gotta yeah, be it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Jesus. Yeah, all these powers, Yomi just got so antsy and didn't mix up his options. And Lunar moves on to Grand Finals because of it. Grand Finals taking that set 3 to 1. 